The Elite Book series is synonymous with premium business notebooks from HP. The Slim 865 G10 is equipped with LTE support, a smart card reader, and plenty of security features. A 16-inch model was also added to the Elite Book lineup last year. The first update has now arrived. So what does HP come up with this time? At first glance, the G10 hasn't changed much compared with the previous model G9. But has HP only updated its Elite Book series with Zen 4 processors? Or are there other improvements? And how does the Zen 4 CPU stack up against the Zen 3 chip in the previous model? Those who like it smaller can also check out our review of the 14-inch HP Elite 845G10. In this review, we're going to not only compare the current model with its predecessor, but also analyze how well it stacks up against other high-end business laptops such as the Lenovo ThinkPad P16 SG2, the Acer Swift Edge 16, the Lenovo ThinkPad T16 G2, and the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 16. All the edges on the silver-colored aluminium body are rounded. The metal gives the base great sturdiness. We only heard a minimal amount of creaking during our twist tests. The display lid is fairly robust as well, but is naturally a little easier to bend. Only the bezel around the display is made of smooth, black plastic. A notch on the front of the lid lets you open the laptop with one hand. The lid can be folded back by almost 180 degrees. The long hinge in the middle is also firm, but the display can still wobble slightly for a short while after being opened or shaken lightly. Two small rubber pads above the top left and right corners of the touchpad ensure that the display doesn't get scratched by the keyboard deck when the lid is closed. The Elite Book is on the small side in terms of size. The competitors are often a few millimeters deeper or wider. However, this is not always true for thickness since both the Acer Swift Edge and Samsung Galaxy Book are considerably thinner than our Elite Book. On the other hand, the two ThinkPads are a little thicker, meaning that the 865 G10 is in the middle of the pack as far as thickness goes. At 1.9 kilograms, 4.2 pounds, the EliteBook 865 is on the heavier end in our comparison. Both ThinkPads weigh roughly 100 G, 0.2 pounds, less, whilst the extra slim Acer and Samsung laptops are even lighter. The I.O. options are quite decent for an Ultrabook. There are a total of four USB ports, two Type-A and two Type-C. However, the Elite Book lacks an SD card reader and a LAN port. In any case, it isn't really surprising that the latter is missing on a laptop of this class. Interesting features include a smart card reader and a SIM card slot with LTE support. The ports are all located far back on both sides, which gives your hand more space when you're using a mouse. The HDMI and USB-A ports could be slider farther apart. Wi-Fi plays a particularly crucial role because the laptop doesn't have an Ethernet port. Unlike the HP Spectre X360-16, supports Wi-Fi 7, the HP EliteBook uses a Realtek Wi-Fi 6E card. Transfer speeds are very good, but the Qualcomm adapter in the previous model produced marginally better results. Then there is also the LTE slot that takes nano SIM cards. LTE connectivity is handled by an Intel XMM7560 LTE Advanced Pro modem. HP offers a 5G module option, but its availability may vary by region and apparently hasn't been finalized yet. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.